Welcome into the studio for a little behind the scenes frustration. This was a frustrating weekend here in the studio, well in Studio A. Nothing went right. So I guess I just wanted to share with you that, uh, yeah, not everything's perfect when you're trying to film for 3D printing. So we had, if you can see this machine, you probably can see a little bit of it up here in the corner. This is the uh, Airy One Thinker X400. We've had this for months and uh, it's like 150 pounds, monster machine. Everything was going so well on it. And I'll show you the, the print or at least what was happening with it here in a second. But then it had a failure, part failure. And I, and I don't really blame everyone for that because when they shipped it, it ended up being a, a terrible shipping experience. When we received a 150 pound machine on casters, it arrived upside down with the top cracked and some other issues. So there's likely something else wrong uh, with it anyway. So everyone is fantastic. They're sending us over a part to fix that. And content will be coming on that soon. But look at this. So I'm trying to print a giant NES game, right? I want to print like a giant one. So here it is. And the, it was going so well. I did a test for ironing on, the, on that thinker. And it was going so well and then I decided to turn ironing on on this big one. And this is Bamboo Lab Basic PLA Gray. Can you hear that? That is the other frustration. Oh my gosh, everything this weekend going crazy. That is the CFS on this K2 Plus. Slot number two wants me to murder it. Seriously, that thing screams. This has been going on for like two days now. It's a, this is like a three day print. For two days now, slot number two, which has the white in it, is just been screaming, failing. <sighs> Deep breath. I'll have to contact Creality and have them send me a new CFS, but oh my gosh, because I can't imagine that's normal. Seriously, in the comments below, tell me, is that normal? Should it be screaming like that? Seriously, the whole house knows I'm printing that. Anyway, back to this. I turned ironing on and it, it ended up warping slightly here at the front and then ironing just ruined it. It was looking great before the ironing started and that was my mistake. But the problem is this was the last bit of this Bamboo Lab gray basic filament that I had because I had four spools. I loaded one there one on the P1P and two on the P1S. And none of it went right. So this failed and this would have been cool, right? So I ordered some holographic sticker stuff for this and gonna take this to town and have them do it and I have a giant NES game, right? So anyway, we'll have to start that over another time, but check this out. The, oh, then that K2 Plus shakes so much on the bench that see behind me on the television right here, see the Transformers and the Gundam? my G1 Jetfire. It knocked it off along with thrust, knocked them off the television. My original ones from the 80s. So we got a couple of things here. So the same thing. Everything looked good until we got into a corner. And the same corner was having trouble on multiple prints. And so then, you see it, multiple prints, same thing. It was warping off the build plate. So I applied some Vision Miner nanopolymer adhesive, right? Because that's pretty cool stuff. Amazing build plate adhesive, right? But get this. I walked in the studio and the build plate was still stuck to this in a bowl shape. Like the build plate, both ends were curled up. And that's what it ended up, so it ruined it. So then I thought I'd change the orientation, right? So go some tree supports, whatever. And I went with adaptive cubic infill. Look at this. Not only did it bleed through on the surface, the infill, but apparently, I don't understand why, but see the pillowing up on top? This pillowing from not enough support underneath. And it had like five layers. I, I want to say maybe it's four. I, th I thought it was five. Anyway, so I went through four spools. I, I have four partial spools of that filament left now. And I went through this and this. And this, and this, and that, and this, 
Oh. Nothing in the studio went as planned. Oh, and then, I don't know, can you see this? You'll see this in up upcoming content. This is a, it's a Bad Batch Wrecker helmet that was painted by a friend of mine. And uh, it was actually painted uh, years ago for, in, in before, you know, modern day slicer painting. And so what you're actually seeing right here is it's kind of rough, right? So think about it. It was etched and cut out to be reassembled. So, you know, because you could only paint really like an idea maker, you could only paint um, when they were separate objects, right? That would be then assembled inside the slicer. So it's a bit rough because it was basically carved out. But one of the reasons why I like it, um, and you'll see it, like I said, in some upcoming content, don't judge the printer because the model itself is rough as far as the painting edges. <sighs> wow, anyway, back to what I was saying before I wanted to murder the CFS was that, uh, no, it's a little bit rough, which I actually think works really well. So it's not as clean as modern day slicers paint. Um, it, it, the rough jagged edges, uh, you know, the Bad Batch helmets are supposed to be messy. So I, th I, think, it, I think it lends to uh, um, kind of like the purpose or the intent of it. So it looks good. But that'll be done here in, I don't know, maybe about another day. Um, maybe even by tonight, I don't know. But you'll see that in some upcoming content. But I wanna say though that the, this K2 Plus so far, uh, it's it's working out really well. Slicing experience, especially on a Mac, not good. Terrible slicing experience uh, with uh, with Creality Print in a Mac. But and I'll run it on this PC and, and we'll see how it does on that. But Mac experience, not so good. Um, but the print quality, where the black is, the black is great. It looks really good. Um, the white um, is rough, like it's supposed to be, because like I said, the way it was sliced, um, it doesn't purge enough with the default settings because that's a galaxy black and the red and the white on this helmet has glitter in it. So the default purging that's in Crowley Prince not enough to kind of clean that out um, and keep it going. But other than that, I really like it. Um, this is probably my best experience with Creality. Colors, huge print volume, like 350 by 350 by 350. It's a really nice machine. Kind of fun, except for the CFS that screams at me and makes me want to murder it. But other than that, it's nice. But anyway, yeah, that's just what I wanted to share. Not everything goes well in the studio when, uh, when you're trying to film and get things done. Basically, three days of, three, well, two days of printing and four spools of PLA wasted. Um, and I didn't get the result that I wanted because I actually wanted that done today. And uh, yeah, nothing. But anyway, and then I'm hoping uh, that I can get the part fixed for this uh, Airy One X400 because it's kind of a, I don't want to, I don't want to give too much information on it. Like I said, it's NDA. They've shared some things. You can go to everyone's page on Facebook and, um, and learn more about it, but it's a 400 by 400 by 400 machine. That's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, but I don't want to say too much about it. Video coming, um, as soon as I can on that one. But anyway, thanks for watching and, uh, wish me luck that the next few days I'll actually get some things printed properly and working and we'll get some content up but uh tell me in the comments below if you have these 3d printing bad days bad weekends as well because i'm sure all of your prints are perfect right anyway thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one